What's going on everybody? So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to replace the heater coil on this GEP type unit. All right, so here we go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start off by removing this plastic cover here. So to do that, we need to remove the knobs as well as this little screw here on the side. Next will be to remove this cover here on the top. So this metal piece is what's holding the heater coils. So I'm gonna remove these screws uh, along with the ground wires we have over here. All right, you guys, so this thing is kind of stuck on here, so I'm going to gently pry it with this uh, mini pry bar here. Uh, so I'm going to be using the metal part of the evaporator coil, all right? So I'm not going to do it against the fins because obviously I'm going to mess it up or even cause a leak. All right, everybody, so as you can see, everything is pretty much uh, corroded. So I'm gonna be doing a little bit of cleaning with this uh, steel brush. And then after that, I'm gonna be removing the nuts with this uh, 516s socket. Now this is an eight millimeter socket. Uh, you could also use a 516s uh, attached to a uh, 3 8 hex shank. Out of everybody so after that we just have to worry about four nuts which is gonna be this one here this one here this one here and the one at the bottom Alright everybody, so as you can see, I uh, got the wires off, so now we can remove the heater coil from the metal piece itself. So it's just uh, four screws, uh, one on each corner. Alright guys, so to put it on, we're just going to simply reverse the steps. Alright guys, so to rewire this, uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, so first is the black one, hooks up right here. The one that's coming from the uh, limit switches after that you'll be able to identify them by the length of the wire or they're also color coded all right so uh, the first one is gonna be the shortest one goes here to the second one or is the black one uh, after that it goes to this one right here the third one down and that's gonna be the middle one here or the white one and last is gonna be way down here and obviously that's gonna be the longest one or the pink one. Just a quick FYI you guys, uh, make sure that your jumper wire here is still hooked up to this first one here before you tighten that up. And the last cover. Let's go ahead and tighten that up. And that's pretty much it, you guys. So that's uh, how you 
replace a heater coil on this uh, GE PTAC unit. Uh, so let me know if you have any questions or comments in the section below. I'll get to them as soon as I can. And I'll see you guys on the next video. All right.